Hey creative friends, welcome to my channel and welcome to another Mix It Up Monday video. This video today, I am going to be making the master mix for the master muffin mix. This is really, really good. Actually, it's got some great spices in it. it. Tastes great. And I have my little card, and in the description will be the print off of where I got this recipe. Um, the ones that I have the little card will come out of the um, the link that I have in the rest in the uh, description. But this is the master muffin mix, and you can see if I have this one mix made, I can make a whole bunch of variations. Uh, some of the some of the mixes are there's a streusel topping different muffins that you can make variations would be like apple muffins banana muffins bran muffins cheese muffins um, applesauce apricot banana blueberry bran carrot muffins a garden muffin gingerbread granola muffin lemon muffin maple marmalade muffin a nutty muffin and oatmeal muffin and a peanut butter banana muffin and it's just uh, there's a walnut muffin also so i am super excited about this muffin mix so i'm going to tell you what i've got right here in order to get started i have 18 cups of all-purpose flour in this great big container because it's going to take a that big of a container to mix it up and I have five cups of granulated sugar and two and a quarter cups of non-fat dry milk. And like I said in the last video, if you don't have dry milk, period, if you're using instant milk, you need to double this um, because dry milk is condensed down. Well, it's, it's uh, dried, basically. Instant milk is dried and puffed so that it absorbs water quickly and it's instant. So that you have those two. And I have six tablespoons of baking powder, two tablespoons of baking soda, uh, two tablespoons of sea salt, and I'm using the Himalayan sea salt, doesn't really matter, three tablespoons of ground cinnamon, and two or uh, three teaspoons of nutmeg. And I grind my own nutmeg, by the way, so it smells so good in here because of that. Hang on, I'm going to move you a little bit. There you go. So now it's really simple. Once you have all of those things, you simply, in the biggest bowl you can find, which I have it right here, mix all the ingredients together well, break up any clumps, and then we're just going to store in a large uh, container, airtight. Now here's the thing. This one thing will make five batches of 24 muffins. So that's uh, not bad. I mean, that's a super easy way to make it super quick. Um, so there's a basic recipe that comes with that information of just making the basic muffin which is yummy anyway because it has the cinnamon and nutmeg in it but then the variations all you have to have are those extra little ingredients and the bulk of the work is done when you have these mixes so love it okay there's the spices and now i'm going to take my cool this is my mixer whisk and i'm just going to mix this around if my son's dog barks she every once in a while hears something here and just she's a hound dog so she barks that hound dog bark um, but i'm babysitting her today so i'm just going to mix this up really good with a nice whisk i do want to make sure i go down around the bottoms of the um, container and i will get a wooden spoon even and go through there to make sure it's pulled up from the edges if you have a round bottom bowl it's not as big a deal but i just want to make sure i have it all out of the edges of the bowl here I'll pull that around from the edges see how see there I want to go around the side and make sure we're getting all of the flour mixed up just give this a good mix I'm excited to uh, try all the versions of this I think it's gonna be delicious the plain muffins are awesome but I want to try the applesauce muffins I think they go really good with the uh, cinnamon and, and nutmeg now I'm gonna put my little little sifter screen on there and really get this worked up if you don't have something like this you could always use just one of those flour sifters so you can just kind of work it through so i think there's you know you could add stuff to these too like you could just put little bits of dried fruit in there if you wanted to make them so this is super simple get in the bottom there until I don't see any clumps of flour, like right there, you can see the edge has got a little bit of flour. So I want to make sure I have it all super evenly mixed in around the sides. I don't want to see any streaks of cinnamon or spices either. I want it all evenly incorporated. Ooh, go. 
a little outside my container here. Smells good. So this will be something I will use in one of my pantry cooking for two Tuesday. I'm going to try to use a lot of these mixes in there because it just makes cooking so easy. Now I would probably cut the recipe for this in half so I could essentially get 10 batches of 12 muffins. But if I had to go somewhere and take a, you know, potluck or something like that, this would be perfect. So, and if you don't want to make this big of a batch, you can cut these mixed recipes in half if you want. But what I don't put in the pantry cupboard, I'm going to put in my freezer. So they'll last quite some time. And I want to try to make a habit of coming in like every three to six months and reviewing my mixes situation. And if you have the Make a Mix cookbook, you could put that in the cupboard next to where your Make a Mixes are stored. And then you could just grab it and have it easy. Because my problem was, that's why I made these cards. My problem was I'd make the mixes and then I'd go, I want to make that. But now, now I got to go find the recipe, you know. Okay, so there's that. Now I'm going to go get myself a jar and put it in there. All right, I've got my jar here. And now we're just going to fill the jar. And then I've also got a two-gallon zip-top bag. And I've already labeled it with the contents so that once this is filled, I can then put the rest of it in that bag. All right, now I'll finish putting this in here. Smells good. And it's just so nice to have, you know, like, think about it. You go to the store and buy those instant mixes and you have to add your own oil and eggs. Same thing. Only this way you can add a lot of different things. So it's kind of good. So that's an, a way also that it saves you money is you're not buying the mixes at the store. So my son's dog is missing her dad. She whining. All right. Now let me put the label on there and I'll vacuum seal that and I'll put the rest in this bag. Okay guys, I finished and here is my jar of muffin master muffin mix right here. And I'm going to have all my little recipes right there. This is actually kind of a cool thing to give someone maybe, um, you know, like as a housewarming or someone that gets married or something like that. I'm a, I'm a kind of a person I like to give like traditional kind of gifts. So that's cool. And then I have this that will go in the freezer. And so I will be able to make five, five sets of 24 muffins or 10 dozen muffin um, little things and I'm going to do all kinds of different ones there. So that's what I have for you today and that's the master muffin mix and it's in the uh, handout that or the print off that I have linked in the bottom of the description. Hope you guys give it a try. Let me know if you what kind of muffins you make. I think it'd be awesome. So as always thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.